Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to start out with a little clip from my training at Randall's Adventure. Uh, my agency sent me down there the weekend of the 10th, 11th, and 12th for an intro to tracking class. Uh, I want to start out real quick with just a little clip of me arriving in the drive up. Uh, in the video, you'll actually see the gate and the road up. So let's do that real quick and then I'll come back to you after we get done. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it is the morning of September the 11th. Hopefully everyone pays homage to everyone that was lost that day. But uh, here we are on our way in to Randall's Adventure Training. My agency has sent me down here to attend a intro to tracking class so looking forward to it it should be a good class don't know what to expect from it but we'll see what happens <clears throat> I don't know how much videoing I will get to do today but uh, if I can I'll try to get some video let me get you flipped around here and we'll get some video of the drive in. I've come past the house as I'm actually on the road leading up to the training farm here. So let me get you switched. Oh, this is about as good as I can get it from here inside the truck. They have a very, very strict five mile an hour speed limit. To the point that the email they sent out said that if the five mile an hour speed limit wasn't obeyed you'd be asked to leave so definitely got to stick to the speed limit uh, my understanding is most of this is taking place on private property so have to respect everybody's wishes Trail cam wireless trail camera there. But after a lot of rain, this road's fun. faster than five mile an hour on this road anyways. If you did, you'd rattle your teeth loose. There's Reuben. Park anywhere? After that, you, I said I was going to do a lot of video if I could and uh, take a bunch of pictures. They had signs posted everywhere that said no photography and no video. So I wasn't able to get anything while I was there going through the train. And I understand that and I respect that. So let's talk a little bit about this training. It is very hands-on. It started out at eight o'clock. We spent about the first 45 minutes in the classroom with a PowerPoint presentation that spent a lot of time on definitions and techniques and so forth and so on. Then we moved outside to the sand pit and spent from about nine o'clock on till about 11.30, quarter to 12, somewhere thereabouts. 
Now, let me back that up. We spent from about nine o'clock till about 11 o'clock working in the same pit, laying tracks, seeing what they look like when you do different actions. Uh, and then we run scenarios in the same pit. We were split into two groups. One group would lay a set of tracks while the other group was off and couldn't see. Then we would come back and try to figure out what the first group had did. So incredible hands-on training. Then we spent from about 11 to 11.45 doing a observation course where they had an area marked off that we had to stay between and walk and then they hid man-made objects and we had to try and find them. Must be a cat outside and the dog's going off. But we done that for about half hour, 45 minutes and that was incredible. It really worked on being able to pick up small objects. We went to lunch there on the grounds, got done, and immediately after lunch broke into two teams and went to the woods where we spent the rest of the day with the instructors laying track and then us taking turns as lead and flankers and following the track. And we did it in a lot of different types of terrain different, I guess you'd say, woodland settings. One area was heavy with pine duff, another area was heavy with hardwood and softwood leaves. Then we worked a little bit in following tracks in balls and open field. Patrick Rollins was one of the instructors and Ruben Boyer was the other. They did a incredible job. Uh, definitely recommend this class. If you ever want to take a class down there, I do not see them putting on a bad class. Uh, the day before I was down there, they actually had an intro to survival class. Some of the individuals enjoyed it so much that they stuck around the second day to take the intro to tracking class. Uh, some uh, very knowledgeable individuals, very humble individuals. If you ever get a chance to take any kind of class with Randalls, I highly, highly recommend it. So, Sorry it's taken so long to get that up. I'll cover that in another video. It's been interesting since I got back. So there you go. Like, share, subscribe. I'll get another one up for you real soon. Oh, at the end here, I'm gonna roll in a picture of a little buddy that we run into the last day and on our last track of the day. So y'all have a good one.